This tutorial is aimed at the beginner, so if you're more advanced, you might just want to skip this one. So you can see why it's called the helicopter as the hook link spins around the main line as it flies through the air after the cast. It's an ideal rig to use in weedy situations and where the lake bed has a very soft substrate like slushy soil, most commonly known as silt. It's also very good when fishing tight up to features such as islands and reed beds. The lead lands first and the hook will stay behind it when the sinkers are moved further away from the lead. I'll go further into this later in the tutorial, but for now let me show you how to assemble all the components and build the heli rig itself. And by the way, this is the naked heli rig. These are the tungsten sinkers. They help sink the chod bead and line, but also serve as slidable stoppers in order for you to position the hook link to your chosen spot on the main line. This is a chod bead which protects the line by eliminating rub or chafing from the metal flexi swivel. Quick link for attaching the line to the lead weight. A buffer bead to cover the quick link. This is a quick change flexi swivel which allows super quick changeover of your chosen hook link. This is the lead weight with the swivel removed. You can do this with a pair of pliers. Let's put it all together. Okay, so first off, you need to put your first sinker onto the line. Thread the line through the wire loop and pull it back on itself. You then continue to hold the line in one hand while sliding the sinker on with your other. You'll feel the line pull through the sinker. You can then continue to slide it up the line towards your reel. About two feet will do for now. This will give you plenty of room to work with. Okay, so the second part of this rig is to pop the flexi quick change swivel onto the chod bead. Simply slide the ring over the stem and then pop the bead back into position. Always put the removable bead on the reel side in case you get a line break on a snag when the fish is hooked. The bead will then find its way off the stem leaving the fish with only a short hook link to contend with. Now thread your line through the centre of the chod bead pushing it up towards the sinker. You'll find that purchasing small tungsten sinkers will be beneficial as they grip the line better than bigger sizes which tend to slip out of place. Now proceed to slide your second sinker onto the line. You can see here how the chod bead protects the line from the metal swivel and at the same time it allows for movement of the components. This helps the rig settle more naturally on the lake bed. Pop your buffer bead on, small eye first. This is what's going to keep it all looking nice and neat at the lead weight end of the setup. Now it's time to tie a small loop using either a figure of eight knot or an overhand loop. Snip off the waist tag end. Now thread the small loop through the quick link, then feed the quick link back through the loop the other way. Now we're almost done. Push the lead onto the quick link by forcing the metal weight loop in between the split wire on the flexi link. D 
this just needs the buffer bead sliding over this quick link Now add your chosen hook link to the quick change swivel. And slide the anti-tangle sleeve into place. For maximum hooking potential, where a clean lake bed allows, you will need to lock the chod beads into place as close to the lead as possible and use a short hook link. Personally, I like to use something around four to five inches. When there's weed or silt present, I use a longer hook link in conjunction with a wafter bait, which is a semi-buoyant bait, meaning it will sink slowly and sit just above the hook while the hook sits on the lake bed. When using this technique, I'll move the sinkers and bead away from the lead weight, usually around 10 to 12 inches or more, depending on how thick the weed is. I'll also open the space between the sinkers to enable the wafter to find its natural sitting point on top of the weed. When starting out, it can be really handy having a tank in your garden to test your rigs out. It will give you a good insight as to how they sit on the lake bed. This rig is only for demonstration purposes. On a bottom like this I generally use a shorter one. I hope this tutorial has helped you out. Enjoy your fishing.